Queen Elizabeth may have found it isolating having to bear the responsibility of leading this country for so many decades. However, it seems she found a close companion in her later years to help shoulder the burden. Sophie Rees Jones married the Queen's youngest son, Prince Edward, in 1999, when she was 34 and Her Late Majesty was 73, and they went on to have two children together Lady Louise and James, Earl of Wessex. Although Sophie, who was Countess of Wessex until earlier this year when she and Edward became Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, was not born into the royal family, she shared a close friendship with the Queen. The monarch even broke royal tradition to see Sophie in hospital after she had her daughter, suggesting a high level of concern for her well-being as the Queen would not normally carry out such a visit. Louise's birth was very traumatic, as Sophie needed an emergency caesarean a month before her due date, and there were fears she may not survive. Click here to join our WhatsApp community to be the first to receive news about the royal family Sophie and Louise had to be kept separate while the baby was undergoing specialist care, with Sophie staying at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey and baby Louise taken to St. George Hospital in London for treatment. The Queen's visit would no doubt have been a great source of comfort to Sophie when she was unwell. Fortunately the birth of her son James four years later went much more smoothly. Body language expert Judy James told Express.co.uk that a simple gesture between the two at Sandringham emphasised their easy, close relationship. She explained, both the late Queen and Prince Philip always looked relaxed and happy in Sophie's company and there was a moment at Sandringham at Christmas in 2002 when Sophie stood grinning, and the Queen suddenly reached up to touch her hat with the fondest of smiles in a totally rare moment of public affection and spontaneity. It looks as though all the current firm like popular Sophie and her safe pair of hands reputation. Sophie tends to be very open in terms of her signals of friendship, fun and active warmth at all levels of the royal family, from the late Queen herself downward. Following the Queen's death in September last year, a grieving Sophie looked emotional as she went on walkabout to see the floral tributes and meet with members of the public. The royals are traditionally taught to not display any emotion in public, However Sophie was seen dabbing away a tear at Her Majesty's state funeral at Westminster Abbey. Ms. James said, Sophie was such a close friend of the Queen's, but she seemed to be pulling on some inner strength to offer comforting hugs to the entire group and perhaps acting as a source of strength as she sat with a raised chin in an attempt to display confidence and support. The Duchess of Edinburgh has continued to be a source of strength and friendship for the royals, as she and Princess Kate now appear to be developing a close bond.